This is an infinite modded lucky block. And for the next 100 days, I'm kind of going to be stuck on this block. Oh, no. But Renny Drag, what is an infinite modded lucky block? Well, I'm glad you asked, friend. Each time I break this block, it will drop one random item. And I forgot to mention, there are over 100 different mods installed. Anytime I break this block, I could get a really cool, unique pet or maybe an extremely OP sword. For the next 100 days, I've set myself a few goals to beat. First, I'd like to turn this one singular block into a really cool base. I'd like to find a way to the nether. I've challenged myself to try and make an automatic item collecting farm from the lucky block. I'll have to take down and conquer massive bosses. Somehow set up a villager trading outpost. And also beat the base game. So guys, if you do enjoy this epic movie, remember to like and sub. Yeah! So without further ado, let's get into the 100 days. What is the first mystery modded item that we're gonna get from this block? Oh, I don't know. Let's, let's, let's see. A dimensional cover! So the first item we picked up from this block was a dimensional carver pickaxe, which literally took two netherite to make. And I got this bad boy in seconds. I'm, I'm not complaining. Okay, we got an orchid. That's cool. No! No! I don't know what that was. Okay, so our first problem was that items are gonna fall off the edge of the block. So we're gonna need blocks to expand the base quickly. Oh, our first block. Clogram tiles. Mm, yeah, yes. Clogram. I love clogram. Ooh, a scatter crossbow. We got arrows for this. Look how big that thing is. Oh my goodness. That is a big crossbow. One thing I've noticed already is I'm gonna need storage. Where am I gonna keep all these items? So after only mining for two minutes, I don't know how, but we got a Neptunium chest piece. Eight armor already. It's been like two minutes and we've already got this Neptunium chest piece. going to be OP by the end of 100 days. One break of the block, we get Neptune's chest piece. And then the next we get hoglin meat. Oh boy, this is going to be a long one. So after mining a little bit more, I finally found some storage. Oh, we got a chest. Magenta ME covered cable. Great. That's cool. Let's plop you there. Yep. Oh, I don't want to fall off. No, 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 no. Thank you. The next items I got was a void caller and an iron to gold chest upgrade. I don't know what to do with these items, but we may as well keep them. Okay, sprout. Yes, we've got our first plant. Yay. And for my next item, this de item should definitely not be in my possession. Oh, 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 Stay back. I got a shotgun sprout. Don't make me use it. I have a shotgun and I'm not afraid to use it. Why is my head going like this? Woo. Now it was turning night. And with the realization that I didn't have a lot of storage and I didn't have a lot of physical space, I needed to keep mining. Let's just keep mining. I need blocks right now. Magic fence gate. Oh, guys, it's our magic fence gate. It's so magic. Magma brick slab. Flying saddle pen. Grey Anatomy TV. I can watch TV. Right, you know, after a long, hard day of mining this block, I can go back home. This is my home. That's work. This is home. And watch TV with my shotgun. <laughs> a vertical slab. I can actually build my home now. Yeah, this is this is my house. We got a burger. Now that my pockets were full, it was about time that I placed my chest and filled it all up. Pink umbrella? <laughs> we got a pink umbrella for our base. Yes. Now we can break this block in the shade, even though it's completely nighttime. Oh, we got a goldfish. Oh, I think he's dead though. Here's a quick montage of the following items that we got. Green beach float. Lizard food. What? Wiggle wood. <laughs> Whoa, we got a netherite hoe. The night phantom trophy. I am the night phantom now. Whoa, battle robe. And the next item was especially good because we got our first sapling, which means if we got dirt, we could start a tree farm. Liquid oxygen bucket. Okay, that's cool. Gast essence. We got a helmet. P. We'll keep that there. Whoa. Fangs of frost. And next we got fangs of frost, which are dual wielded blades, which freezes enemies when hit. And lucky for me, my first companion was just round the corner when I got the wolf pet. Oh my gosh, I got a friend. Hello, Spot. Oh, now you're Rufus. Okay, Rufus. Now you're dog. The name changing dog. Then I carried on mining to start a collection of items to try and help me expand my base until I got this. Excuse me, what? I couldn't believe my eyes either, but we had just obtained a chest piece that had over 600 plus armor. I don't even like, but to say the least, I wasn't complaining because this would keep me alive since it is Minecraft hardcore. I'm not taking any damage because there's no mobs right now. There's not enough mobs to spawn, but I need dirt and I need trees and all that jazz. At this point, my chests were running full and my inventory was running full. So anytime I got an item, I would have to throw it out or just decide to use it. Cowfish spawn egg. Oh, it's a fish. That's a cow? Question mark. My next item was a cooked strider leg. You heard that right. And my dog was looking kind of hungry. Wait, you want to eat the strider's leg? Okay, doggy, you can. Strawberry ice cream. Do you want strawberry ice cream, dog? Do you want strawberry ice cream, cowfish? Shrike. Uh, no! Shrike! 
No! What the heck is all this? I, I'm i too non-advanced to know what any of this does, dog. I, I don't know. We're just gonna keep breaking the block. Mule. Hello, mule. Hello, mule. You're my also new friend. Just don't walk off while I'm riding you. Please don't walk off. So on my base, I don't have a lot of space. And I'm trying to start a family with a dog and a mule and a cowfish. But there's one slight problem. I don't actually have the space for all of these guys. I'm starting to need blocks badly. And I don't have space. Do you want some salt cowfish? No. I didn't know what this did, and now this is infinitely spawning this stuff. And I don't know what this stuff is. I'm just infinitely creating it. What is this? So after getting distracted by making a waterfall of pee, I needed to get my head back in the game and start mining the block. Mining away now. Hey, I got a, I got a room over here now. Come on, I need storage, please. Let's frame ice cream. Yeah. Come on, storage, please. Oh, a rapid crossbow. All right, if I get arrows now, I can just pew, 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 pew. Isn't that right, Neil? Pew, 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 pew. It was turning night, and I still hadn't acquired any form of storage. This was leading me to be into an even bigger pickle. I need more storage. ASAP. My house. This is this this spot right here. Very cozy. Very snug. Goblin knight. Let's stab a goblin knight. Oh. Oh, that was a bad idea. Oh, the, the goblin knight is doing damage. Oh. Oh. And after taking down this one goblin knight, I realized my armor isn't as good as it looks if I'm coming up against guys like this. Look how much damage they did. And with armor this good, I should be protected a little bit more than that. I thought, you know, with this chest piece, easy does it. You know, we're already done. Well, no, that's not the case. I could have died then. Okay. Okay, let's keep going. We got this, whatever that does. Wait, did I just dab? <laughs> <laughs> Why is this a thing? Oh, that's a cool block. In the house it goes. Oh, there's so many things that I don't know what to do with. Right, we've got a dweller. Oh, yo Oh, okay, bye. <laughs> These things are so good. This is gonna be my vertical wall. Oh, we got pizza! This pizza's gonna stay here for a nice snack if I ever need it. <gasps> slime pet! Saves you from a certain death. Gives you slime balls. Hey, look at him go. Can I place this yet? Oh, I can. No! No! My water floaty! No! I could have used that! No! Now that my beloved beach float is gone, I needed to find someone else to love. Cobblestone pet! YouTuber approved by Sunday? Whoa, why am I flying? Why am I, why am I flying? Excuse me? Ow! Okay, cobblestone pet. Our base is coming along pretty nicely, and I got my awesome flippers on. Now, as all of this time had passed, I still hadn't found any storage, and it was the next day, and all I really had to show for it was a ham radio and maybe a shotgun silencer. Oh, I got a silencer. Where's my shotgun? Can I put this on my shotgun? Guys, I can't put the silencer on my shotgun. Seagull! <gasps> oh, I got a seagull! Hey, buddy! What can I call you? Soul the seagull. Soul! No, stay by the beach umbrella. I don't actually have a real pickaxe, which is a problem. Lamp Lamp of cinders. Can I spawn a genie? Oh, what did I do? No, dog! Oh, you guys are okay. Soul, what are you doing down there, Soul? Soul, sea urchin. <laughs> what is that? No, don't die, sea urchin. No, no, my sea urchin's dead. Okay, I just realized that I have a lot of pop chorus fruit, right? And if I craft this, I can actually make blocks. Finally, we can have some actual space. Oh, we got a shulker box. Yes. So in only a span of a few minutes, a great few things had happened. Number one, I had found so much pop chorus fruit that I could craft all of this into purple blocks, which would allow me to expand my base a lot more. The second thing is we found a shulker box, which means more storage, and now I don't have to throw away lots of items. And the third thing is another water bucket, which means I can now make an infinite water source to start farming. That's huge. Two bucket of waters, infinite water source, big time money. Plastic drinking head. Oh, I look sick. I can drink two sodas out of my hat. Mantis shrimp. Oh, you're big. Are you a threat to me? Okay, can we be friends, Mantis Shrimp? Yeah, you can stay over there. Oh, you are. Oh, you're definitely something. Ooh, ooh. <gasps> kangaroo! We got a kangaroo, mate! This is the coolest thing I've seen all day. Kangaroo? No, nope, fall off. You can stay up there. You can stay on the coal. Coal! Coal the kangaroo! That is a fantastic name. Right, let's keep this going. <gasps> Whoa! Neptune Ho. Four damage, four speed. Cool item, though. I'm gonna keep that. Our base is increasing in size. Grass is definitely something I'm looking for right now. I'm gonna mine this block until my inventory is full, then I'm gonna look through my inventory. Okay, right, let's see what we got. Scepter of fortification. What does this thing do? Oh, whoa, look at that. Okay, that's cool. Oh, this is wood. Can I have a crafting table? Let's go. We got a crafting table, baby. Light gray stool. <gasps> can I have a sit down? Oh, I can sit down. Whoa, we got a master's katana. Whoa, look at this thing. Yeah, these do less damage, but they're quicker attacking. What the heck? All the modium chest piece. Immune to all damage. Piglins become neutral. Frilled shark. You look like you want to eat me. But yeah. Ow. Not cool. 
dead. Okay, thanks to our chorus fruit, we're getting a lot more space now. Oh, we got farmland. Earth seeds. Please grow. I am praying that grows. Just expanding this base just feels satisfying for some reason. I don't know. Bing, 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 bing. My name is Red. The drag. Ugh. And the crowd goes mild. Right, we got a broad axe that kind of looks menacing, but only does one damage. Finally, our first tree, and it looks so good. It looks like the OG Minecraft tree. Wait, that's why it's called Origin. Oh, that makes so much sense. Right, hopefully now we can get more saplings of this. And now we can expand. Okay, let's try and get more dirt so we can grow more saplings. Guys, future ready drag here. As you can see in the replay, you can't actually see me breaking the block. So just ignore that in any of the replay shots. Just pretend the block's there. Yep, the block is definitely there. Let's just do a little bit more mining. Frost by chess piece. Spawns a snow companion. I want a snow companion. Where's my snow companion? Why did I get take aim? Um... Did I? Oh, no, kangaroo! No, that wasn't me, kangaroo! I don't want to kill you, kangaroo! Ah! What the hell? Now the lobsters want to kill me! My pets! No, my pets! They all turned against me! No! Stupid frostbite chess piece. Where, where did my dog go? Doggo! No, don't say I lost you too, dog. I don't know why I can't spawn doggo in. Spider pet. Jump boost. Wall climb. Hang on wall. Gives you string. Gives you item. Sneak right click. Whoa, I can jump so high as well. I can climb up walls. Oh, this is sick. All right, let's keep on to you. Oh, man, we're running out of storage. Okay. Please grow, sapling. Please grow. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, we're going to mine all this. First, I'm going to make a chest. Right, I'm going to put everything in here for now. If I can get a lava back here, we can make a cobblestone generator. That would be very handy. Double chest time. Yes. Okay, now we're going to grab slabs here and kind of like make this area look actually nice. Okay, right, cool. We've uh, kind of flanned out the area now and this looks pretty nice. It doesn't look as jumbled. As, there's not a lot going on. For now, this should do the trick. The block. It's the block, guys. <gasps> oh, we got a chest. Just more storage. Oh, we got dirt. Oh, this is a good day. And I'll put you over there. Tomato! I'm having so, much, so many random foods. I got tomato and an onion. No, we got a barrier. Ah, okay. What I, what can I do with this? I'm going to keep this, actually. Right, if I spawn this Carmite Gasling, let's get my uh, tools out. Let's fight. Huh. This isn't good. Come at me, Gas. Whoa. Ah, oh, fair enough. Didn't really get to use my items there, but you know, that's fine. Got so many heads now. What do I even do with all these? Lich trophy, you can go over there. The stack of boss heads. Ooh, pickaxe. Oh, it breaks so quickly now. Yes. Right, we're making progress. Whoa, look at all these items. Okay, I see a red man. Invulnerability for one minute weakens enemies. Tree, yes. Okay, perfect. I'm going to climb this tree and make sure I get every single block of this darn wood. Yes. Wood. Okay, so what I've done here, I've made seven chests. We've got seven chests along here. And I put all of my good items at the bottom of this chest here to keep them safe. And uh, yeah, we have a lot more storage now, which means let's get breaking this block. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on a second. I think I might just have become OP. So I just got the unobtainium vibranium block, and we have the unobtainium all the modium. So if I craft these back to their ingots, we have these. And with these, we can craft the pickaxe that does that much damage, and the sword that does that much damage. No, it's not working. No! Oh, it's the wrong ingot. Right, now we need all the modium. How do we get all the modium? Whoa! We got the random item generator. We have two of the same blocks. I'm gonna save this big time. We got another piece of dirt. Let's go! I don't know how I'm doing this, but I am gaining more and more and more by the second. Okay. We got fire gauntlet. Causes the wearer melee attacks to deal fire damage. Oh, yes. Oh, look at my fist now. I punch with fire. I will test it on you, donkey. Don't worry. Let's, let's fight a vampire squid. Oh. That was a lot underwhelming than I thought it'd be. Mungus. Oh, it's a Mungus. It's literally a Mungus. Pop, pop, pop. Are you friendly? Can I keep you, Mungus? We're actually making a lot of progress. <gasps> the trees grow. Look at this thing. Okay, so now that I've killed my own pet sheep, I can grab three blue wool. And now we can make a blue bed. What I'm looking for right now is a QIO drive array, which basically gives us an infinite chest. Right, let's keep mining the block. Oh, what is that? Vibranium chest piece. I hope that works. Last time it just didn't want to work. I just got a Supremium pickaxe that does a lot more damage than my last pickaxe. How quick? An Insta breaks. Another pickaxe. We got three pickaxes. Oh, bye, Ice pickaxe. So what we're going to do now is make a mob grinder so we can farm all the mob drops. 
Okay, mob grinder time. So then I went around the edges of the mob grinder, building the walls 22 blocks tall. And that is done. But quickly, um, I'm going to change these to grongle saplings. Okay, we've got a lot of grongle wood, which means grongle mob farm. So then I went around building the rest of our grongle mob farm so we could spawn mobs and kill them for all of their loot and XP. Okay, now we got to fill in the gap. Oh man, this is going to take a while. I need more grongle. So then I made sure to cut down all the grongle tree to grab as much wood as I possibly could. So then that allowed me to fill in all the gaps on the mob farm. Now what I need to do is get trapdoors and add the water. So let's add the water first. We'll put water there. Put water over here like that. And that should be the water all done now. We've got the water flowing there. Okay, now I'm just going to need some trapdoors. I hope these trapdoors work the same as other trapdoors. Okay, there's all the trapdoors placed. And then after that, I had to build walls so the mobs couldn't physically just walk out of the mob farm. I did all of this until I had myself a nice, awesome mob grinder to farm XP and all of the mob loots. And now we can sit here and farm, boys. Whee! A villager spawn egg would be very nice to find because then we can start getting villager trading. Yoink, 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 yoink. Dirt! <gasps> Coarse dirt! Oh, this is huge! With coarse dirt, you can duplicate dirt. We could be able to duplicate dirt. I gotta, I gotta quickly try this out for a second. Hang on. So it turns out, if I want to get infinite dirt, I need gravel. To get gravel, realistically, I'm gonna have to head to the Nether. Uh, but I don't actually know how I'm gonna get to the Nether at the moment. I have no way of getting obsidian. But at least now I have a fourth block of dirt. There we go. We got two saplings now, a, a nice distance apart from each other, so they have base to grow. So then I made sure to get as much grungle slabs as I possibly could to. Fill in the gaps here to make it look all nice and tidy. So then when these oak saplings grew, I had a nice platform to go and collect all the wood on. Right, what I do want to make is a chest area. I think I might just put all the chests in front of the block so I can literally run straight up and just place them there. Problem is, I'm going to need a lot of space for these. Right, now it's time to get the chests. Okay, so we'll have the first row. We'll go here. That row, that row. More block mining. Ooh, a green furnace. Cooking speed, fuel efficiency. Oh, heck yeah, that looks sick. It makes putting planks into the furnace feel like I'm putting coal into the furnace. Do you know what I need to do? I need to make a fence around this block because it keeps... All the items keep flinging everywhere. Okay, loads of different color fences that all do not connect. Great, fantastic. We'll add to the little tree island. What I'm actually going to do now, I need to get to the nether. Obsidian seeds. And I had a hoe somewhere. And I think we can grow obsidian. I might be wrong. I hope so. I do have bone meal. But let's go to sleep quickly first. Right, we have six bone meal. Cool. It's not working. Okay, I hope this guy grows. Okay, this is our item breaking area. The block has been upgraded. Yay. Right, I have the meta pet. Who? what pet are we gonna get, guys? The ghast pet. Shoot fireball. Oh, that's pretty cool. So then I sat here and killed zombies, and once I had enough iron, I created a hopper. Let's try and build a hopper system from the block. First, I'm going to build blocks around this block. Okay, so we'll build around the block like this. And now, when I break this, I want the items to fall onto water. Right, so if I put the hopper there, items will finally arrive to there. And now, hopefully, they'll all be picked up. Right, let's test the old item catcher 5,000. Okay, so a lot of items are going in the water. Yes, right. They end up in the hopper. And I got an Easter egg. Ooh, a watering can. Did he earn? Okay, we also got an Easter egg. What can I do with the Easter egg? This Easter egg spawned in Steve. And Steve was gone. Okay, bye, Steve. Where is Steve gone? There is a Steve running around my base. I don't know. Okay, well, never mind. There we go. We have the item catcher 3000. This doesn't really look very good, but you know what? It does the job for now. Now, what I should be able to do after all of this is just sit here and mine. What is that? Alex's mobs. What am I holding? Can I place one of these down? What do they do? Okay, these are scary. I'm going to put them in my uh, shelter box for now. Right, now we're going to see if this really does work. Diamond fishing rod. So at this point, I really wanted to organize all of my items. So I quickly ran back and forth, back and forth to put all the items into the organized chests. And the best part is they're all on one side of the base. Okay, the obsidian's grown. We got our first obsidian essence. Whew. We are on our way to going to the nether. Just a few more obsidian essence. Oh boy. This is taking forever. Oh, sleep time again. I finally moved all of these chests over there and I've organized them all as well. So this is the last one. Uh, all of these chests are nice and organized. I think I have some items left over in this little chest down here. Maybe. Yes, I do. Well, I'll have to sort that out first. But uh, yeah, we've made some good progress, I think. Okay, at the start of today, I'm going to quickly fix the water machine that goes all the way down here because all the way 
Mungus, what are you doing? Did you fall into the hole, Mungus? You silly. Right, let's try and fix this problem down here now. Now, I hadn't mentioned, but the problem with the item collector was I actually couldn't go down and collect the items without almost falling off. So I needed to tidy all of this up. Some blocks there, and we'll place ladders down here. So it's kind of just straight down to the chest. And then I'm going to build oak planks around here. And there we go. We have a nice little area down here to collect all the items. So down here, all the items are going to get collected. I should probably get a few more hoppers. But in the meantime, I'll grab all of this. Oh, we got a cake. And then we'll come up here. And it's done. Okay. I can probably make it look even better, but I'll do for the time being. Oh, no. I got the blue screen of death. Oh, we do have another meta pet. So let's see what we get. Okay. Please give me a good pet. Here. What have we got? Cloud pet. Flast flight. Jump. Whoa! I can fly! Yes, this is the best pet. That's actually the best pet ever. I can fly! Look at me go, mule! Woohoo! Okay, this is gonna make everything so much easier. So I was back at it, mining the modded one block to see what items I would find this time. Okay, we got a lot of items going on here. What? Blood cake? And let's quickly drop off all the items we've got, like the last laugh. I quite like the idea of having a shuriken. I'm gonna keep the shuriken. Whee! Right, what, was, what did we catch in the chest? A pixie pet, double XP. <gasps> Ooh, that's nice. Now that we have this double XP pet, let's head over to the mob spawner. We've, we've got one zombie. Wait, hang on a second. All the modium alloy axe. I just noticed this. Look at the stats on that. That is broken. You know what? I'm not complaining at all. Right, since we have this little pixie pet here, we can get double the XP. Ignore this, by the way, guys. I kind of had to fix the mob grinder spawner, but we have all these mobs now, and they're all falling into my trap. Yes, this axe is so broken. So I was sat here mining to try and find some items to help us progress, like dirt, a massive drive so I could store all of my items, or more things to get to the nether. Right, let's go down to the chest. Chest number one. Any items? Oh, we got a grass block. Yes, another grass dirt block. Oh, and a hopper. What a chest. Well, that was a really good round of breaking the block. We got a crafting table pet now. Let's go to bed. New day. Okay, start of this day, I'm going to quickly grab a new chest so we can add more storage to our item collector here. So we were on to round three, mining the block again to try and get even more items to help us progress. Let's hope we have a round of items just as good as the last. I can mine for a while now, guys, because we have two double chests worth of storage below us. Guys, I have something very important to show you. This is the creative bin. This quite literally duplicates items. We only need one. So let's place this somewhere important like there. Okay. This is our creative bin. We grab this. I need my water bucket. Right. Okay. Put water here and then grab the dirt. No, no. This has gone horribly wrong. Dirt is so important. I am not going to make the same mistake. We got the dirt. Let's check it in the creative bin. Infinite, infinite dirt, boys. We did it, boys. Okay, now if I right click, click. Look at that. A stack of. I'm, we're rich. We did it. Okay, this means now we can grow every single sapling we find, every single different type of seed we find. Let's get straight to work. Okay, first off, I'm going to turn this area into a farm. Okay, the first thing I actually want to plant is these obsidian seeds. Because I've organized all of my chests, I actually have so many different seeds. So to celebrate all of this new dirt, let's just plant all of these brand new seeds. That's a lot of magic seeds. I'm excited to see what they'll grow into. But now I also need to start a tree farm. Okay, what I just figured out, I have four Prodentium Essence. And if I craft this with dirt and a hoe, now we have Prodentium TM farmland. And this should change the grow speed. So then once all of this obsidian grows, we'll be able to go to the nether. Okay, I've just made the red soil. And I'm gonna put the red soil right there. This soil grows 0.4 times as fast. So uh, obsidian, you go there. Right, now to build a giant tree farm. So since I had infinite dirt, it was time for me to use all of this dirt to my advantage. How many XP can I get from this? Do I have my XP pet? Let me get my XP pet. I got myself the XP pixie pet. Let's get, let's get all the XP. Ah! 34 levels. Look how many bones we got. Yo! I'll show you guys what I can use these arrows for now. You could probably guess. Look, we got the scatter crossbow. Whoa! Three! Three arrows! Huh. Winter's touch fires three arrows when charged. Oh, I kind of like that. That only counts as one arrow. That is so broke. 
Now the second question. How much obsidian has this obsidian farm made? Okay, and we've got more obsidian seeds. That is huge. There's a chance of them dropping obsidian seeds, which is awesome. Eight obsidian. We'll do that again. 16 obsidian. We need a flint. We have the steel, but no flint. Now we need to get mining to see if we can get any way to get to the nether. So I was back at it again, mining away to try and find a way to get to the nether because that was our next goal. Let's go check on our item. I'm gonna sit here and sift through all the items and tell you guys about the best items I found. I got myself a bazooka. That's pretty cool. An anvil pet. What does the anvil pet do? Feed me an iron nugget to repair your items. Hello, living anvil. I'm so sorry, sir. I don't have an iron nugget. No. You can live with me, though. That's pretty cool. We got a blaze pet, which gives us a strength attack boost and damage and fire damage. Isn't that cool, anvil? Yes! We got this giant venom glaive. Okay, so I've sorted out my inventory. That is everything. And I still need to find a way to ignite this portal. We've also now got a diamond plant growing here. And this diamond is just going to give us infinite diamonds when it grows. Let's go to bed. Still no way of getting to the nether. Okay, it's a new day. Mew, I gotta get away to the nether. And we're back mining again. <sighs> Whoa, I just got a jetpack. Whoa, how do I use this thing? How do I get gas in here? Well, we got a jetpack. I can't fly with it right now, though. Okay, guys, I've been sat here for mine mining for ages. Let's go see if we got anything good. Okay, we got some cool items. I don't really know what half of them do. We got a flaming quiver, which I think turns our arrows on fire. We got this banana. Look at them. Look at him go. We got more supremium farmland, which means we can start more farms. Look, we've already got diamonds. And yeah, some just other cool things we got. We still need to find a way to the nether. I've put wood seeds into this hopper, and now this is just gonna farm infinite wood. So, for the next few days, I had big plans. I wanted to get as much wood and as much blocks as I possibly could so that I could expand my base. So, what I did, I placed down loads of saplings, which would allow me to mine more wood over time. And I also spent a day building my cool house. Where does my TV go? On the furnace. Boop. Yeah, now I can watch TV. Pretty nice. Let's do a little bit of a house tour. So, you have the glass door. Very cool. I used that from one of the mods. So, you come in through the glass door and you see you met with stairs. Hello, stairs. We got stairs and my bed, my stool, and I can watch TV. That doesn't work. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So, I was back at it again, searching far and wide through all of these items to try and find any items that would either help me get to the nether, help me progress in any way, shape, or form, or any really cool items like a giant minigun. Guys, I got a giant minigun. <laughs> what am I going to do with this? I don't even have any bullets for it. Right, let's open this meta pet. Who are we going to get? Whoop. Puffer fish pet. Poison on attack. Venom blast. Venom. No, 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 Mungus, no. Mungus, do not die. Okay, Pufferfish Pet, why why have you done this? This wasn't me. Nope, nope, not at all. Okay, quickly before we mine the block again, I have two meta pets here, so let's see what random pet we get. The first one is the Snow Golem. Gives you snowballs. Siamese Pet. Brings you random gifts. Scares away zombies. Aw, Sagwa. Yeah, hello, Sagwa. Come with me, Sagwa, on our adventure. Guys, I can't believe we did it, but we, we got the Nether Portal Pet. I'm gonna quickly go to sleep, and then in the morning, we are off to the nether. Let's also get the cloud pet. Ah, oh, wish me luck, guys. Please work. Whoa! Hey! Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this? Ah, oh, what is this? It's sucking my blood. Scary. I need quartz. Right, now that we have 36 quartz, I can fly around with the cloud. Yeah, boy! Woohoo! As long as I have quartz on me, my cloud pet will eat quartz. You can't shoot me! I'm flying! Quartz everywhere! I'll steal that. Let's teleport back. And there we go! We're back! Because the nether portal pet eats quartz as well, I'll have infinite teleports back and forth to the nether, which is very nice. And also, the cloud pet also eats quartz so I can infinitely fly. Now that I can fly, let's clean up the base a little bit. So then I set off on my quest to fix up and clean my base. So what I did, I flew underneath, cleaned up all of those blocks and all of the water sources and made the base look a little bit more cleaner. Then after that, I realized I don't need this nether portal, so I broke it down and made a platform where I could teleport back and forth to the nether too. I think if I make a battle arena, I'll be able to fight and take loot from all the toughest enemies. So let's do this. First, I decided to make this out of mahogany planks because it was a new block I hadn't used yet. After building the base of where I'm going to build the Colosseum, I realized, hmm, I don't have enough blocks for this. I'm gonna need more wood. So with the infinite bones from the mob grinder, I could use all of this bone meal to infinitely place down saplings, grow it, rinse and repeat this process till I had enough wood to build wherever I want. Then it was back to building the Colosseum and I wanted to build one big grand entrance for the base. I call this Colosseum the Spoon. In here, I have the Alpha Yeti boss spawner. This is exactly what it sounds like. Ah, we got the Alpha Yeti. Okay. I am not prepared for this in the slightest. The <laughs> I just 
one shot the alpha yeti, not so alpha anymore. Guess in the double chest we'll put the trophy, you know, just to show that I've <laughs> killed the boss. But I have another one. The Hydra boss spawner. Let's spawn in the Hydra. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, oh you are- No! You broke my Colosseum! No, my Colosseum! Ah, no, please don't break my Colosseum. No, my baby. That was a terrible idea, but we did it. We got the Hydra trophy, and I'm gonna put them there. Mm, stupid Hydra. Good as new. It's like it never happened. All right, let's see what other mobs I have. Okay, let's start off with the King Spider. Is this it? Are you the King Spider? Oh no, that was a close match. Elegant throne. Wait, it's literally just a throne. Snow Queen. Oh, you're actually like a boss. Okay. Are you like Elsa? Oh, oh, ow. Oh, you do damage. Oh, you do a lot of damage. Whoa. She was a proper boss and I killed her in one. Right. In this chest, we're going to have all of the mob drop items. Uh, guys, I found an item called the Mystic Code and I've become Doctor Strange. What does this do? Oh, I just got a digital miner. Does this mine block? What have I just placed? Okay. While trying to sort out the auto miner, um, the, the, the slime grass here has spawned in so many slimes and they're kind of taking over my base right now. I'm gonna have to break all this. Okay, so I've gone through a lot of items and still no luck of anything interesting. But what I have got is two hoppers. Oh, also a hot dog. Hot dog is also interesting. Yes, plop that there. Two chests. Okay, now we have a huge stack of chests, all collecting the random item generator. Okay, the one thing I do want to do today is I actually have two pigs. I don't know. I don't think I have carrots. Oh, no, I haven't got a carrot. Okay, I can get carrots eventually, but I can actually start a little pig farm. Actually, it'll be more of a more of an animal farm, actually. Okay, pig one and pig two. Quite a nice cool area. I'll build a little bit more around it. I've just got a spawn I called a forgotten. Ooh, you are a forgotten. Okay. What the heck just happened? Okay, I got a moon pet. Reverses gravity of mobs and items. What does that do? Whoa, they're floating. Whoa. Still no luck with the items, though. Oh, man. I still want to get a villager spawn egg so I can start some village and trading outposts, which would be very nice, but we still got to find a villager. Yeah. In the meantime, I guess I'm going to build a place where I can get all the villagers in. You know what? I just realized since I have so much spruce, we may as well use this for the villager outpost. And now it was time to build our base for the villagers, where we'll keep our villagers to stay. This is where we're going to keep our villagers nice and cozy to stay and farm them and then kidnap them and steal them from their family. And now hopefully after building this, I can actually find two villager eggs because I don't actually have them yet. So I'm kind of banking on finding villager eggs right now. Come on, give me villager spawn egg, please. Yes. We got one villager egg. I've been sat here ages mining the block. We have done it. Let's go. Hup, hup. Hey, guys. Do you guys have baby? Aha, uh -huh, you've become a librarian, I see. Well, just you wait, Sunny Jim. I'll have more emeralds than you can even talk about soon. Make baby, make baby, make baby, make baby, make baby. I'm screaming make baby at villagers. Yes, they're making baby. Right, right here we have three emerald farms growing and two potato farms. This is stonks. We're making business. Guys, how long is it gonna take you to make baby? Make the baby! I think I've convinced them. I have genuinely left my PC on for I don't know how long. Only five emeralds, right. But we did get three emerald seeds. So, so all in all, we have 17 emeralds. No, you guys still haven't made baby. Guys, wake up. I have potato baby. I didn't catch her on record. They freaking did it. Congratulations. So, for the next hour and a half, I stood here and let all of my plants grow. Meanwhile, these guys were making babies. G make baby. Day in and day out, I just stood here waiting for all of my potatoes, carrots, and most importantly, emeralds to grow. So I could be the richest man alive. Yeah, look at me go. Okay, we've got a stack here. Oh, stack this. There's more there. Right, we put all of this in here. 52 emeralds. You know what? That is not bad. Well, I don't think any babies being made at the moment. So I'm just going to go back to the daily old grind of mining the block. Oh, I've been searching. I found a few cool things like this little mushroom pet, which gives me the bone meal effect. Brand new sapling. Let's just put that down. Right, let's go sleep. I'm going to put this space to use and uh, change it all to emerald seeds. Farming away. I don't know what to farm. I'll farm this anywhere. Okay. And we got a sheep spawn egg. Put the sheep in here. Boop. Sheep farm. Pig farm. I've gone under my base and I've just found this guy. Troppy B. Hey, dude. What are you doing down here? I kind of want this giant sword. I don't want it to despawn. I did it. I got the giant sword. Yes. This looks so dumb. We did it, guys. Video. Over. Oh, we got another creative bin. I can duplicate any other item that I want. What item is that gonna be? Oh my gosh, we can duplicate the end portal frame. Genius. Okay, now that we found all of these things, um, uh, 
Oh. Oh, no. No! No, my villagers! No! Are you guys safe? Oh, you guys have been caught in my zombie trap. Welcome to this world, Iron Golem. These guys will farm us Eyes of Ender so we can head to the end if I decide to duplicate the end portal frames. Right, the plan. I'm gonna go to the nether, collect enough gold for the beacon. Uh, this might take a while. Good thing I can just zip around like this. What the heck? It's on the ceiling! Oh, that is terrifying! Okay, let's head... Oh, actually, there's some gold here as well. Ah! Stupid mosquito. Not bad. I got a little bit more gold to get. Gold looks cool. Let's get some more gold. <laughs> what the heck is that? It's a Firefox. Almost done. Even though I am growing emeralds, I could probably use emeralds for that later, but we're going to stick with gold for now. Right, let's go bed quickly. And back to the nether we go. More gold here. Dig it, dig it, dig it. Okay, we're back. That should be enough. Let's have a look. Beacon! We did it. We got a beacon. More speed. Yeah! Meow. They did it! They made a baby! They made a baby! Yes! Hey, buddy. Oh, you're bouncing on the bed. We freaking did it. Three eyes of Ender. We'll be going to the end soon. Anything worth noting? Everlasting beef. Not consumed when eaten? Can I cook this? You are joking. No! This is the best item ever. What else have we got? Uh... Oh! <laughs> You can't make this up. How does these things work? I think we've done it, guys. I think I've unlocked infinite storage. I don't need you anymore. Whoa, look at all of those chests. And they're just gone. So now if I come to the farm and I need to plant some seeds, I can just grab out my dashboard. And there we go. We have all of these seeds that I can choose from. And yeah, right. I'm gonna do it. We're gonna plop the end portal frames in here. And now I have infinite end portal frames. Oh no. And now it was time to build the base for the end portal frame. So first I went with a nice round design because this was a running theme throughout the entire base. I decided to use spruce because I had an absolute ton of it. So I may as well put it to good use. After carefully counting, I used the oak logs to make sure that I was putting the end portal frames in the right place. To add a finishing touch, I made these overarching beams over the portal. And I think this looks pretty good. I need three more. Okay, three eyes. One there and one there. Okay, I didn't catch that, but when I made the portal, I fell into the portal. Who's ready to see the quickest end speed run? <laughs> Oh, wow, would you look at that? I did it, guys. Yay. We did it. We beat Minecraft. Let's go. Well, that was fun. I didn't even need to use an apple. Right, guys, I'm unfortunately just going to kidnap you. I just need one. I just need to kidnap one of you. In the boat. No, not in bed. Yes. My first victim. Right, this will be your new joyous house. I hope you enjoy your new com accommodation. Yay. Trader Joe. No, 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 no. No, guys. guys no, no, no. No! No! Oh, you are joking. No! No! I've, I've just lost a villager. Great. Why did you do that, Cloud? Say it with me. Make that baby! Yeah! Are you alive in here, sir? Yeah, you are. Okay, we're good. Let's go. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Okay, I've actually looked into a few of the mods, and uh, so we have this QIO importer here, right? And apparently, if I come down to my item collector, and I connect this here, and set it to my Renny drive, and then I do this... Those items, they go through here, and they go straight into my giant drive. So now I don't even need to go through any of these chests. They will just go straight to my dashboard through this little device here. So I sat here mining day after day, seeing what items I could collect from the infinite random modded lucky block. Okay, I've been mining for a good while now, and <laughs> we have a lot of items. Look how many spawn eggs we have. What? I want to fight a mimic. Wait, let's quickly go to sleep and then let's fight a mimic. Right, in the arena. Mimic. Ow! Oh, okay, you're not doing any damage, but that is terrifying. It reminds me of the piano from Mario 64. Okay, you're dead. Ah! Angry chests! Oh, no! And they're gonna kill me, and I'm gonna kill them. I can have my pet doggy back. Sparky! Yay! My dog is back from the start of the video all the way to near the end. Right, I'm gonna grab all this spruce because I want to make this area look a lot nicer. Do I keep the block sign? Yeah, let's just keep it for old time's sake. Why not? The question is, do I do all sides like this or do I make it like a pyramid? Okay, now we're starting to look extra cool. That looks awesome. Now we can come up to this temple shrine and just sit here and mine and then the items will go down and they'll end up right here in my dashboard. So I was back at it again mining away, but this time I was in a 
really cool spruce temple. Hopefully mining the block this time, I'll find cool things like exporters for my farm so the items from the farms can go straight into my dashboard. That would be very handy. Okay, let's check out what items we got. Uh, Look at that. We got another QIO importer. So with this, I should be able to put it on, say, these guys, for example. All of these items will head straight into here. Now, you might be wondering where I'm getting all these hoppers from. Well, I've actually been growing iron seeds the entire time. This is a one giant automatic farm. I have a grenade. I kind of want to test this out. Grenade! Oh. Oh, no. Okay, well, that was that was safe. Right, let's see some of the bosses. First, we got the Mino Shroom. Oh, you're not that scary. Oh, okay, well. Right, what about the Lich? Oh, you're the Lich. Ow. I can't attack the Lich. Okay, this is actually a match. This is a, this is a hard battle. How do I kill the Lich? I don't know what to do. And now the Lich is flying around my base. There we go. Where are you, Lich? Oh, you're right here. No, the Lich is near Sparky. You're the real one. There we go. Well, we can add these guys to our collection. Cool. Hello, Mill. Right, have you made babies? No babies. No babies. Boop, boop. Two more plant pots. Wait, what can I add in these? Yes, iron seeds. That's what we were looking for. This is starting to look amazing. So with this one importer, I decided to make one giant seed farm where all of these seeds would get collected into the chest, collected then into the hoppers, all the way into my QIO drive, so I didn't have to collect anything. All of these seeds would be growing in the background. All of this is one giant automatic farm. <laughs> that looks amazing. We'll use oak planks, because if I break any of that, I don't want it falling into the void. From a distance, that looks cool. You guys made babies yet? No babies. With the uncrafted crafting table I had acquired earlier, I uncrafted the Supremium Genstone to grab Supremium Dust, so I could use this dust to then craft with soil to make really quick growing soil. We're gonna grow Netherite, we'll grow Diamond, we'll also plant Gold as well. We've got an infinite Netherite, Diamond, Gold, Coal, Emerald, and Iron Farm. <laughs> Let's go bed. Whee! I've had trouble with these guys for so long, and I they still haven't made any babies. Oh, okay. So to celebrate this world and everything we've done on it, I wanted to make one big outline around the Base. So the base could look neat and tidy just before I say my final goodbyes. Got my composters here. You guys come farmers. Good thing I got an infinite potato farm to sell to you. And this is another way of getting emerald. We got wheat seeds. So combining wheat seeds with supremium soil, this is probably the fastest wheat you've ever seen grown in Minecraft. So after trading a little bit with all of my infinite farms, I managed to get a few stacks of emeralds really quickly. Okay, we got emeralds from trading. So in the meantime, I could just fill these two up with normal wheat as well. So that will grow infinite wheat. Bookshelf. Good night, villagers. We got infinite wheat coming in, baby. I'm gonna let the farm do its thing, and then we can finally finish off the villagers. Yeah! Guys, guys, one final push to make a baby. Just one final push. I know you can do it. I know you have it in you, Frank. I have 2,600 carrots. Emeralds, emeralds. I have 2,632 carrots where this came from, so eat up, make baby! Well, you know, guys, I can't believe we actually did it. I survived 100 days on an infinite modded lucky block. This was a fun adventure, you know? Oh my gosh, are they making the baby now? Let me know in the comments what other 100 day challenges you guys would like to see me do next. Thank you to my awesome patrons. You guys are the best. Smash Zoo! Bye! <laughs>